friends, welcome to this video. In the previous video, we studied about the surface area of sphere and hemisphere. Now, in this video, let us look at interesting examples based on the surface area of sphere and hemisphere. You have made very beautiful models of the moon and the earth. The moon and earth are both spherical, right? Yes, Thomas. But Manas, have you used more clay to make the model of the earth or to make the model of the moon? I don't know, Thomas. Why don't we find the answer to this through mathematics? That means... It's math time! Look Thomas, the models of both the moon and the earth are hollow spheres. The radius of the moon's model is 35 centimeters and the radius of the earth's model is 140 centimeters. I remember the formula for the surface area of sphere. The surface area of sphere is 4 times pi r square, where r is the radius of the sphere. And because both of these models are hollow spheres, the amount of clay used to make them will be equal to their surface areas. Let me solve this by writing the radius of the moon's model 35 centimeters instead of r first. Manas! The surface area of the model of the moon is 15,400 square centimeters. Okay, now it's my turn. I will solve it in this way by writing the radius of the model of the earth 140 centimeters in the formula for the surface area of the sphere. Look, the surface area of the earth's model is 2,46,400 square centimeters. The clay used in the model of the earth is many times more than the model of the moon. And do you know another fun fact? If we find the ratio of the clay used in the model of the moon and the clay used in the model of the earth in this way, then you can see that their ratio is 1 by 16. And in fact, the ratio of the surface area of the moon and the earth is also 1 by 16. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? It is. This is really interesting. Let us quickly return to our world. Then you tell me more information about the moon and the earth. With this example, we have seen how our daily life problems can be solved based on the surface area of the sphere and hemisphere. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples based on this.